Come on, do you honestly respect my opinion? Not even a little. <laughs> but I do respect your right to have one. It's not a show that focuses on politics. And we never talk about Trump. I mean, we never did, except we had a Halloween episode. Where you dressed up as Trump. You can't be Donald Trump. Why, because I'm black? No, because you're not orange. If it comes up in the conversation, it's it's just part of any conversation. She's being a right-wing idiot. She's being a left-wing idiot. That's actually redundant. <laughs> it's the same show about a family and uh, in in Denver, Colorado, just getting through the day, and they have their things they agree on and the things they disagree on. And stupid. Dad. We don't use the S word around boy. The S word is socialism. I think that's what people love about the show and what makes it relatable. There's only one book you have to follow word for word. The Bible. The federal tax code. <laughs> the politics is he's practical, but I wanted him, uh, there are people that just don't agree with the bubble in Los Angeles. And it's really remarkable when you get here. If you just don't agree, you become this, all these, all these, Identity politics, they call it. Well, I, I think people also, they recognize Mike Baxter as a conservative character, and he's surrounded by some liberal women, and uh, it makes for a great conversation, but it's, it's also what you always say. You can't start a story or an episode writing the jokes. You need the story. And in a lot of ways, that's how we deal with politics on the show. You need to have a story, and then politics can add humor and flavor. Exactly. But we never, we're not grandstanding or trying to preach anything. or We never even do a show about politics. Right. It's about relationships within this family.